Right, how is metallic bonding different to covalent and ionic bonding? So, covalent bonding, as you may remember from previous videos, is when you have um, two non-metals bonding together and sharing electrons to get a full out of shell. Ionic bonding is when you have a metal and a non-metal transferring electrons between different atoms to produce ions that then bond due to their opposite charges being attracted together by electrostatic forces. And that's how that one works. And then metallic bonding um, is a little bit different to that because obviously as it says metallic bonding is between metals between metal atoms and metals can't give electrons to other namely metals they're all trying to lose some um to try and get full out of the shell so instead what they do is they just allow the electrons to move freely in between the different neighboring metal atoms so what we have are we have delocalized electrons so electrons that are from the metals that are bonding with each other that are free to move and those electrons that are negatively charged free to move and they continually move in and around the structure meaning that the metal ions have lost an electron so the metal ions are positively charged and so that combination of positive and negative means that the metals and the metal um, ions can bond with each other. And what we then have is a metallic structure, which is a giant structure. Now, it's quite simple. In that respect and it's just bearing in mind that it is between metals you have delocalized electrons that are free to move and because they move out of the metal atoms the metal the metal atoms become ions because they have lost one of their electrons which means you have negative charge and positive charge which is opposite and therefore attracts creating